Hello friends, welcome to ANSI's tutor. In this demonstration, we would watch the analysis of a one-dimensional cantilever beam with a point load using the ANSI's APDL software package. It's a cantilever beam of 100 mm length. It has a square section of 10 by 10 mm. It's fixed at one end and free at the other end. At the free end, a point load of 1000 newton is applied. We need to find out the deformation, shear force, and bending moment using the ANSI's APDL. To open the ANSI's APDL, go to Start menu, open the ANSI's, select the mechanical APDL product launcher. In the File Management tab, select the Working Directory, enter the file name and click on Run. This is the ANSI's APDL window. Go to the main menu and click on Preferences. Select the Structural option as we are going to do only structural analysis in this simulation. Open the preprocessor, select Element Type, click on Add Edit Delete. Click on Add. Select the beam, select the 2 node 188 or 3 node 189 mesh. Then click on OK. Open the material properties, click on material models. Select Structural, Linear, Elastic, Isotropic. Enter the Young's Modulus of Elasticity of the Beam Material in the X box. Enter the Poisson's Ratio in the PRXY box, then click on OK. Close the Material Model box. Open the Sections, select the Beam option. Click on the common sections. Here in this beam tool, you can choose the section type and size of the beam. Enter the size of the beam in these boxes. As the beam has 10 mm width and 10 mm height, put 10 in each. Then click on OK. Now we would create the 1D body. For this, open Modeling, select Create, select Key Points in Active Coordinate System. Enter the key point number, put the coordinate of the key point, put the first key point at the origin, click on Apply. Then enter the coordinate for the second point, as the length is 100 mm, put X coordinate as 100. Click on OK. Now. We can see two key points are created in the active plane. Now in create menu go to lines, select lines select straight line option. Now left click on the first key point and then on the second key point. Then click on OK. A line is created. Now we need to mesh this line body. For this go to meshing, select the mesh tool. Click on the set option beside the line. Now click on the line body and click on OK. In the element size window, enter the number of divisions or element edge length for meshing. Click on OK. You can see an M written in this as it is not meshed yet. Now go to the raise hidden tool. Open the mesh tool window. Click on the mesh button. Select the line and click on OK. Now it's meshed. To observe the meshed cells, go to the plot control menu, select style, select size and shape. Check the display of elements checkbox. Click on OK. Now you can see the conceptual view of the 1D body with all of the meshed elements. Now pre-processing is complete. Proceed for solution setup. 
Now we would put all of the structural loading conditions to the model, open the solution, click on define loads. Click on apply. Click on structural. Select displacement. Select on key points. Select the first key point and click on OK. Select all degree of freedom, enter the value as zero. As it is the fixed end, so all the displacement in this end is set as zero. In the same displacement menu, select the force or moment option. Enter the value of the force as 1000 Newton. As it's a downward force, so put the force value as negative as it's along the negative y-axis direction. Click on OK. Now all the input conditions have been set successfully. Now to proceed with solving. Open the solve, select current LS. Click on OK. The solution is done. Close it. Now we need to go to the post-processing option to see all the solution results. Open the general post-processing, click the result viewer. Select the displaced structure, click on plot results. This is the deformed shape of the body. This is the deflection contour along the y-axis of the body. You can also animate the results. For this select the animate results option in the result viewer. Click on deformed results. Click on OK. Click on OK. Here we can see the animation of the deformation. You can also check the same results in the contour plot option in the plot results menu. Click on the image capture option to save the image of the displayed contour image. Now we would find out the shear force and bending moment diagram. For this, open the element table, select the define table, click on add. Select by sequence number. Enter the value of sequence numbers as 6 and 19 for the shear force diagram. And for the bending moment diagram enter the sequence number as 3 and 16. Now go to Plot Results, select Contour Plot. Select Line Element Results. Select the Smith combination of 6 and 19 for Shear Force Diagram. Then click on Apply. This is the required Shear Force Diagram. Enter the Smith combination of 3 and 16 for Bending Moment Diagram. Click on OK. This is the required Bending Moment Diagram. Click on Capture Image and save the result. Save the file and exit. Select Save Everything option. Click on OK. From this analysis, the maximum deflection obtained at the free end is 20.2097 millimeters. 
The maximum shear force is 1000 Newton. The bending moment is maximum at the fixed end with a magnitude of 99,500 Newton millimeters. With this let's conclude this demonstration. Hope you would like this tutorial. Thank you. Stay healthy, stay safe.